Young at Heart by Pam Young. You take yourself with you wherever you go. I remember when I was a young mother, there was a public service announcement on television that would come out around 10 at night, and the guy would say, Do you know where your children are? I remember thinking, Duh, how could a good parent not know where their children were? Recently, I found out my son was often not where he said he was, but uh, ahem, that's not what I'm writing about. I was interested in one of Fly Lady's musings about dreaming of getting out of her childhood home as soon as she could, and that she realized that getting out of that house only changed her physical location. Somebody, it was either Shakespeare or Harrison Ford, said, You take yourself with you wherever you go. Hey, wait a minute. I said that. It's true, and that's what Marla did. She got out and took herself with her. Only until she realized that the only way to feel loved was to finally love herself was she able to make peace with her past and become a light of wisdom straight from her heart for all of us today. Everything we can see, touch, hear, taste, and smell is outside of us, and we make judgments with our five senses about everything in our lives. If we don't like what we see, hear, taste, touch, or smell, we have the power to change any of it. And judging by the volumes of You Can Change Your Life books on the market, mine included, our society is certainly trying to do just that. The problem with self-help books is they won't work if you don't know yourself very well. Do you know where your child is? Ah, back to why I'm writing this. Unless you know and understand that there is and always will be an inner child who has been with you from your birth and remains fresh as the freckles on a five-year-old, you will look out into the world with your five senses to find love. It's not there. When you stop looking for love in all the wrong places, in other words, the mall, Burger King, Sara Lee, Old Mr. Boston, etc., and cast your attention on that inner child who waits for you to connect, you will see your dreams come true. You'll be able to lavish love on you, and the result is what you've always been looking for. Remember the nice and beautiful witch in The Wizard of Oz? She told Dorothy that she had the way home all along. Home, my sweet darlings, is you, and you have had the way all your life. Find you, love you, and watch what happens. Fly Lady said, We have the ability now to get to know our little child within us. We have neglected that child for a long time. Like any child, they're going to get your attention one way or another. We have let her run wild in the streets with our credit cards. She has neglected to clean her room and to eat good foods. She stays up way too late and doesn't get enough sleep. This makes her cranky. Oh, and she spends way too much time on the computer and doesn't get enough exercise. Do you know anyone who would allow her children to do this? So why do you allow yourself to do this? We may not be able to reclaim our childhoods, but we can practice loving ourselves as we love our children. Gentle guidance and a reward system can help you retrain that little child in you. You can feel loved. It's as easy as one, two, three. Simple habits strung into routines with a little decluttering can build a foundation of peace in your life. Are you ready to fly?